Hello folks and welcome to Emmy Fly Tying. Um as requested I'm going to be doing one of my coloured quill buzzers. Um, they're very popular at the moment. All different colours of quills and uh, some diamond hard UV resin for the thorax and then coloured in with a sharpie pen, any colour you want. So tonight the materials I'm going to be using is Deer Creek Diamond Hard, best stuff there is out there. Um, I'm going to be using Uni 17.0, best thread there is out there. And of course, Quills. And tonight it's going to be a pink one. And I only buy my Quills from the Flybox in Perth. Absolutely fantastic Quills. Some of them can be up to five inches long in all various colours. Absolutely brilliant. Right, so let me just get the, the hook that I'm going to be using. Right, tonight I'm going to be using a size 12 grub hook. So I'll just put that in the vise. Alright, let's get started. So we just start. Just about two thirds at the start of your hook. Just wind it all the way down. Just keep going. I usually like to make it so it's just about the corner of the bend. Let's get rid of the vase piece. Now for the quill. What I like to normally do, which I find most people do, is just take a wee nick the end of the quill so it's easier to tie in. Right, just tie that in and then just work your way all the way back up. I usually go just probably about to where I started the thread on the hook. And what I like to do is I like just wet the quill a little bit. Gives it a bit more, bit more versatility. All right, now what you want to do is just start winding the quilt up the body. Just touch and turns. They really are great quilts to be used. The Polish quilts are good as well, but I mean, like the amount of quill that you get for each one is, I mean, you could probably do about maybe three, four, if you're doing smaller sizes. They really are just fantastic. Just keep working your way all the way up, like I said, to about three quarters up. These have been really popular since I started tying them. Everybody seems to want them. And they certainly catch the fish from the feedback that I've had from the customers that have bought them anyway. So it's always good to hear. Let's keep going. We're nearly there. And we'll just stop it about there. Oops, sorry about that. And just tie that in, make it secure, there we go, let's get rid of the waste piece, right. I'll just tidy this head up a little bit, I hope you can see this, okay, I'm using my phone. And then what I like to do is just give it a cover of thread back up. And a quick, quick whip finish. And just cut that off. Just get rid of the loose thread. Now, now we're ready for the 
the resin. Like I say, I mean, Deer Creek stuff, by far the best. Non tacky. You do get other ones that, that are good, but you do find you do leave a little bit of residue. So, what I like to do is just give it, apply a thin layer, and you get two brushes applicators, and you just get a light coating. Gonna be shy with it. Let's get the, the laser pen. And like I say, a couple of seconds. It's rock solid. Let's get it. A good blast with the pen all over. And there we go. Solid. No tackiness. Right. Now for the next bit is to give the thorax. But first what we'll do is we'll pick a colour, we'll go for blue. And we'll just give the where I put the thread a little bit of colour. Go all the way around. I'm just using the sharpie pens are great. Well, at least this way, if you give the thread a colour and before you put the resin on, it'll shine through it as well. So I just put a little bit there. And just keep going. And let it drip slowly down. Let's get a little bit more. Let's just get the pro applicator. So just slide all the way down with the pen. Let's give it a good blast with the pen. And then just give it a colour with the Sharpie again. catches this when it's in the water. It's just absolutely amazing. Fish absolutely love these. There we go. <coughs> Alright, to just give it another quick shot with a pen just to make sure everything's nice and secure. That is your quilled buzzer with a coloured thorax. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and please uh, subscribe, subscribe to my channel and if there's anything else that you're wanting tied just message me on Facebook on my own page or my fly tying page. And that's all. Thanks a lot folks.